Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to determine the slope between these two points. And what we notice is my x coordinates are exactly the same. And it's really important when they're exactly the same with the same sign, we know that we're going to have, um, we're not going to have any change in my x values, right? And that's something we're very to remember and trying to see, you know, what does that look like on a graph? And when we looked at graphs, we know that when we didn't have a change um, horizontally or didn't have a change vertically, we either had a slope of zero or undefined. But let's just go and apply the slope formula so we can see how this really is going to affect it. So I want to determine, um, again, the change in my x coordinates over or under the change in my y coordinates. So to find the change in my y coordinates, I'll label this y2 and this y1, this x2 and this x1. So I'll do 2 minus 5 over 7 halves minus 7 halves. Now since these have the same denominator, we can subtract them. 2 minus 5 equals negative 3 over 0. So again, what we see is we have a 0 in the denominator, which means our slope, which we'll represent as m, is going to be undefined. All right. So that's very important because my x values are staying the same. So even though I'm changing horizontally, I'm not shifting left or right, creating a vertical line. And we looked at the graph of a vertical line. We were able also to determine that my slope is going to be undefined. Thanks.